Fulan is on Nigeria. Written by Osman Uma Sokoto, philosopher, teacher and activist, 2022. We must make Nigeria a Fulani nation and that's final. There is nothing anybody can do about it. When we said that Nigeria belongs to our father Othman Dan Fodio, it wasn't a joke. Haven't we told you that the oil in Beelsa and anywhere in Nigeria belongs to the Fulani? Are Fulani not in charge of every oil wells and oil companies in Nigeria? Who owns the oil in Lagos State? Dangot, of course. Didn't we tell you that Bainway belongs to the Fulani by the right of conquest? Didn't the Fulani become indigenous in Bainway and Jos? Soon a Fulani will become governors in those places and our conquering of those places will become complete. Are you still listening to the ranting of that Governor Otten? He is just making noise, seeking sympathy, and fooling his people. He knows he got no balls. He knows he can do nothing. What did he do when we asked that they submit their weapons? Nothing. They submitted, even when they knew that our foot soldiers, the Fulani headsmen, are still with their AK-47. They handed to us their double barrels, and we kept our AK-47, and you say Fulani is not in charge. Are we not in charge? We laugh when people make noise. Let me ask you people. What did you do when we started showing you all the different faces of the president? What did you do when we took over the police, the army, immigration, custom, etc.? Did you cough? Is Fulani not in charge of all security segments? Is Fulani not DPOs and army chiefs in all your localities? What have your leaders done about it? Have you not seen headsmen killing people? Have you seen one headsman in police cell or prison? How many headsmen have they sentenced? Have you heard that army attacked headsmen camps? That air force bombed them, or police responded when our Fulani headsmen came for attacks? What happened when we killed 300 in Agatu? What does that tell you? Is it not enough for fed governments to declare state of emergency and fish out the killers? Governments will only sympathize. What does the silence of your leaders tell you? They are our slaves. Both from the south-south, southeast, and west, everyone you call your leader is our slave. And before anyone joins them, he or she must agree to be our puppet. Do you wonder why a bony state governor still protect Fulani headsmen and kill his own people, even after our headsmen killed his own people? Are you surprised that former governor Obiono has mighty Ola representatives in his government? That's when Fulani headsmen under Maeti Ola are killing his people. We own them and they are our puppets. We can save and destroy them anytime. Can't you see what is happening in Imo State? What did your leaders do when we removed your elected governor and put a man that took fourth position? Did they cough? Ihidioha is foolish. For one year, we wanted him to start worshipping us and he refused. He allowed IPOB to demonstrate without our soldiers killing them. Now he is a governor only inside his family house. Ho 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 ho. Let me tell you the truth. You must worship the Fulani if you must rule your people in Nigeria. Our slave Hope is doing a nice job. He has killed ESN commander and he is still killing. When we are done, you all will understand how powerful the Fulani is. We are master planners. Do you know the number of Fulani from West and North Africa that have become Nigerians in the past 20 years? And with NIN registration more will become Nigerians. Are Fulani not sacking villages and renaming them? What have you all done about it? When we declared no visa for Africans, we knew what we were doing. We will take over Nigeria and you all will not do anything. We opened our borders and allowed Fulani from West African countries to come in and we call it visa on arrival. If you cough, we imprison you, send you to exile or waste you. Yes, your leaders are our slaves. Is Tinyabu not worshipping us? We promised him president and he started betraying his people. Let him come and be president, let us see. Are Tinyabu and Osibojo not fighting now? It is part of Fulani agenda. The presidency is going back to the north. Wait and see how it will happen. 
That one in River State called Governor Wike. That one is a big clown. He was bragging to be a hitman. Claiming up and down that he loves his people. What did we do? We simply promised him the vice president position, gave him more chances to loot his people and he went mad and started killing his people. He gave his own Abigbo women to our soldiers to rape and kill. We are not done with you guys. Those ones they call Ohanis is now ours. When last did you hear them talking? We bought them over a very long time ago. Whatever they say today is what we want. They are now a tool to further Fulani reign. They said that they can't be Islamized and Fulanized, but you can go to Enugu and Ebony State and you will understand what we have done. West. We are on top of the game. We have already taken Ilorin a long time ago. We have gradually taken lots of places. Didn't we send them to the Beni Republic as refugees? More and more to come. Where are the Afinefias? Where is Sunday Igboho? Where is Namdi Konu? Where are the Yoruba Obos? Where are the human rights activists? They are all silenced and caged. The only obstacle along our way is that one calling himself Motsi Namdi Kanu and IPOB. But we will deal with them. We will use his own people to deal with him. And we have started already. Didn't we get his people to proscribe his group even when they killed no one? Didn't his governor support Operation Python Dance that helped us kill more than 300 of their own youths? If you doubt it, then tell one leader in Southeast that condemned the killing if not that stupid and useless Abaribe. We have raised men among his people to write against him. We have successfully brought some people around him over, using their own Eastern leaders. But in their foolishness, they never knew it was the Fulani that sent their own people to buy them over. Is his former ally and deputy not today against him? What did you think happened if not the power of the Fulani? We are getting closer and we got no much time. Koron must be dipped into the Atlantic Ocean. And that's final. Islam is spreading fast, and many Christians are converting to Islam, where are the pastors that can talk? They are after their own selfish interest. Nigeria is a Fulani inheritance. We planned this decades ago, and we must actualize it. Presidency is going back to another Fulani man in PDP that will spend another eight years. Wait and see as things unfold. Written by Osman Uma Sokoto, philosopher, teacher and activist, 2022.